in this final video, in this final video of this series of using Stripe together with Meteor, we're going to fill in this last function in our little program. We're going to charge a customer or a user token. So let's get started. We're going to call it call uh, Stripe dot charge dot charges dot create and open up our bracket. We want to, of course, put in our charge details, which includes an amount, which let's say five dollars, a currency. My account is Australian dollars, so Australian dollars. And finally, we want instead of calling source, we're going to call customer. And we are going to use that customer token that we've been using this whole time through these videos. So we're just going to copy our, cus our code for accessing that. So we're calling the customer token off the Meteor user object function. And of course, we need our callback. So. We're going to check if there is an error. So if error, just like before, we're going to throw a new Meteor error all the way up the stack. It's 500 type. And we're going to get the message out of our Stripe error and throw that up the stack. We don't have an error. We don't have an error, means our charge went through successfully, in which case we're just going to log out that result, and we'll get exactly the same result as we got in the second video, and we'll return that result to the customer, and I might just add a bit of you. Now that we have our server side code set up for this thing, we're going to just scroll up a little bit, and we'll call our Meteor method. Because I'm lazy, I'm going to call, just borrow this Meteor method implementation, copy our charge username there, come on up, put that in there, uh, we don't need to pass this, and we will change the text of our alert to the user was charged. Okay, so. Let's go over to our, let's just check if this reloads. Yep, go over to our application, let it reload, and press our charge customer button. The user was charged. Let's go back over to terminal, and here we have the result of our charge, including, including a charge ID, you can tell it's a charge, but charge H, the amount, the all the information about the charge so that's how you charge a customer it's just like charging a token except you say customer instead of source i hope this videos have been useful or some help in helping you get your sort of e-commerce website up and up i'm planning on doing a couple more meteor videos on this channel so if you found this useful feel free to subscribe i'm also probably going to do some videos combining Meteor with what the original subject of this channel was, which of course was sort of iOS development, because there's a couple of frameworks that let you use Meteor as a backend to an iOS app. Those are the sort of videos I probably want to do. If you have any recommendations, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you like what you see so far.